Our journey has brought us to Catalonia, on the northeastern corner of Spain. As we head towards the coast, there is one adventure we can't miss out. Montserrat is a multi-peak mountain range near Barcelona. It towers over the surrounding towns and villages and dominates the landscape. Montserrat was designated as a national park in 1987 and is a popular destination for hikers and climbers. Last time you saw us, we were at El Cathar, and since then we have done a little bit of exploring in the local area. We stayed a few nights at Via Camp and climbed the tower. And we went to explore the town of Montana. And now we have crossed over into Catalonia. And we are very, very close to Barcelona. About 50 kilometers to be precise. Mm -hmm. Our mission today is to hike to the highest summit of Saint Gironi. So we have packed lunch, we have two bottles of squash. We are ready to spend most of the day, potentially five and a half hours, doing a hike. We'd spent the previous night in Monastrol de Montserrat, in a very basic but free camper stop. It was perfect for leaving Flora for the day and finding the start of the trail. I don't think we'll be staying there tonight. Uh, go and find somewhere a bit more glamorous maybe and uh, make the most of the uh, epic scenery. Even though we've only been here a few days, Spain has been really good for free stops and stuff like that. And yesterday we had our first uh, motorway shower. I've always been a bit skeptical about using those. I think about the uh, whether they work and the cleanliness and stuff, but actually really, really good and free. You cannot complain. Yeah, they were beautifully clean and really hot. Mm. Uh, it's a shame you didn't find the light switch quick enough, darling, and had a shower <laughs> in the dark, but uh, <laughs> you win some, you lose some. So after racing through France a little bit, we've decided to slow down quite a lot and just recoup some money and some time and just chill out a bit. Fortunately, the diesel's a lot cheaper in Spain than it was in France. That's gonna help us recoup some money. And we're just gonna take like two or three days in each spot if we can and just really soak it up. How you feeling? <sighs> Energized. <laughs> it's a lovely walk. Yeah. Um, not particularly straightforward so it's a little bit different and you have to concentrate and it's not too busy we've only seen two three people yeah one coming down two going up so there's a cable car a funicular and potentially a train as well that goes part way up to the monastery i don't know if i need this turtleneck i'm not gonna lie <laughs> it's all about layers yeah but i just get too hot cal's carpet jacket has come off pretty swiftly, which is a rarity, <laughs> as I'm sure you're all aware by now. The path was pretty easy to follow thanks to the aqua and red markers. The signage suggests that we are about 40 minutes away, however we keep stopping to, you know, take pictures and all that stuff. Blood and yeah, catch your breath. <laughs> But one thing we've noticed is that these uh, Spanish hikes do not mess about. There's some seriously steep climbs, narrow paths, sheer drops. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, it's exciting, but wow. Proper adventuring, aren't we, Maggie? Done three different hikes now that have all been, I don't know, a bit precarious in places. Yeah, in places. It's fun though, isn't it? Yeah. Adds to the adventure. Not far off now, are we? Uh, Steep, isn't it? The last little bit. Yeah, it's going to be a pain in the ass going down on the knees. <laughs> so now we're going up that way. This is a 
kind of crazy. Just a few minutes ago, we were on single track roads, fumbling around on loose rocks. As we neared Monastir de Montserrat, the views opened up to reveal how far we had hiked. We were also shocked to see the signs of substantial civilization and such modern structures. Wow, we weren't quite expecting this. So there's markets. I forgot there was a road coming up. So I was like, does this all come up on the train? And like, no, there's a, there's a road. And this here is a structure that we saw from underneath. And it looked like a building, but it's, it's the actual road. Even though there's all the transportation up here, I didn't expect so many yeah. people. I didn't expect the big, big road. There's like a mini town. There's a restaurant that you can smell. Uh, the funicular is actually closed today. And that was like the, the hub of the train station, the cable car, uh, the restaurants and things like that. So we're just now trying to find the way up to the peak, the highest point. We strolled through the hustle and bustle, admiring the architecture and monuments. So we're leaving the main town behind for now and we're making our way to the highest point. Of St. Gironi. It is 1,246. And it is getting really cold. My nose, all the layers are back on. Actually not the turtleneck, but that was just effort. And it could take a little while. We're hoping not too long. It's gonna probably take us over an hour. It's safe to say we were pretty optimistic at this point. If you look behind us, it's just all steps, which makes it more direct, I guess, but it's quite hard going, isn't it? <sighs> I'm looking forward to my soup <laughs> and my really nice sandwich. Well, we're gonna have to get into the sunshine for that, I think. Oh, this is either I'm extra, extra, extra unfit, but I'm having flashbacks from Ben Nevis. So I hope that we're no further than about 30, 20, 30 minutes away from our final destination. And this path is uh, very changeable. We've gone from the like man-made concrete steps that are really steeped like this quite thick wood, which is a, a lot more easy to navigate and meander through. We've got a mile to go and we've just seen some American people and they've said that the worst bit is the last bit but it's well worth it. <laughs> but I might crack open the coffee before we get there so I've got a little bit more pep in my step. In the end, it took us over two hours to reach the summit from the Abbey. It was hard work, but the varied track provided a great distraction. The views from the top were stunning. Getting up close to the rock formation we've been staring at for the last couple of days was quite surreal. Making it to the summit of St. Geroni gave us 360 views as far as the eye could see. Now I've worked very hard for this today and I've been dreaming about it for potentially the last hour and a half. Epic lunch spot, Espania version. concerned about now is how long it takes to get back down because we've got a long way back to the actual car park um, so it depends whether we walk all of it or if we have to stop and get a train because it's getting dark because it's gone f must be at half four now yeah and uh, obviously being winter the sun's gonna disappear so 
So the first part of the descent is over. It only took us an hour. We just got back to the town now. It's very busy up there still, but there's not many people on the walks, which is quite nice. So we're gonna soldier on and hopefully get back to the van in the next hour and a quarter, maybe, hour and a half. It's getting dark. <laughs> um... From this point on, we don't actually have much more footage of our descent as it got dark really quick. We had seriously misjudged just how long this hike would take. At times we were scared. And overall, we felt unprepared. In hindsight, we should have got the train back down. So yesterday, we were up there. I don't know if this angle is going to pick it up, but I'll get some B-roll of it in a second. All the mountain range across there, which is now shrouded in quite thick, dark cloud. Yes, it was an amazing hike. Really rewarding. It was a little bit tough in areas, and we are aching today and we did do the last bit of the walk in darkness, so it was a good thing we had a couple of torches in our rucksacks, which mm. we don't think that was probably the best idea. Even on the way up in full sunlight, we said how treacherous some of the path was, so coming back down was definitely an experience. So if you're doing it in summertime, you won't have a problem with the sunlight, but we either recommend moving your butt up there earlier on in the day to get down earlier, or getting the train down, or the funicular, or the cable car. We made it and we were shattered last night so we forgot to film and we just sort of chilled out, passed out. Yeah, <laughs> we were really tired. So, amazing trek. We highly, highly recommend it. Mm -hmm. Join us next time as we head east to Barcelona. Time for a city break. As always, feel free to like, subscribe, leave us a comment down below, press the bell button to receive notifications each time we upload, and check out the description box too where you'll find all relevant links to our social media and website. We love a bit of interaction. We'll see you in the next one.